there's a popular saying from okay. India Shows Kerala that if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they learn. So taking this into consideration, Indian High School has gone for a next step of introducing technology in the classroom. So we inquired about different flexible learning paths for our students, taking into consideration their interest and the technology which is advancing at this level, that is using multimedia and digital tools in our classroom and teaching and learning. So using multimedia, they get a learning platform for finding information in the class or during their work at home as well as in the school. Digital tools for understanding information, tools for using information appropriately and tools to support their real life applications. Taking all this into consideration, we have introduced Intel Education Tablets in a school provided by Calibre which comes with education software which can be infused and can be mapped with the curriculum very nicely as per which grade we are teaching and what topic we are teaching. Uh, I can give you more details about what software we are using after the demonstration of the class. As we introduce Intel tablets in a classroom teaching, our school today use technology to prepare our students for their future careers, to integrate technology into their classroom learning so that we get we can reach diversity in learning styles with different learning styles teachers can approach for different topics and technology helps them to learn more about their real life situation or connect with the real life situation as well as they get wide range of online resources during the class as well as when they are studying on their own. Now to start with this class, I would like to introduce my teachers. Ms. Rashmi will take you through the differentiation teaching that she's doing it using IME in her classroom. She'll start with differentiation, then after the differentiation presentation is complete, I call my students over here to demonstrate the class. Please, Rashmi. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rashmi Pillai, staff of Indian High School with uh, Ms. Hasina. We are going to share uh, how uh, we use IT for differentiation and daily assessment in our school. So, this uh, in National Estrada, a beautiful saying like, if a child can't learn the way we teach, maybe we should teach the way they teach. Differentiation means tailoring, tailoring instructions to me. I just check you. Can we have a mic? Um, that, 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 Tailoring instructions to meet individuals' need. Whether the teacher differentiate the content, process, product, or the learning environment. Our curriculum uh, doesn't give provision for uh, differentiating content and product. But we usually we exclusively focus on the process for the learning. The uh, use of the ongoing assessment and the flexible grouping makes this a successful approach to instruction. Now, the IHS way of differentiation, uh, differentiated instruction is carried out by identifying the learner's ability, areas for strength, and areas for support. Every learner belongs to one of the following groups, basic level, grade level, and advanced level. Students never know to which of these grades they belong because this grouping changes from subject to subject and the group to which they belong changes as they progress to high ability level. Now we use Intel Education Tablet for effective learning. So these are the special tools we, which we use for maths like uh, in classrooms like for writing notes we use journal application, for drawing we use art range, presentation, media presenter and for the writing on the documents we use MS Office Inc. Daily assessment is done through classroom management system and the corrective measures will be taken on the basis of the assessment reports which the teacher gets then and there. Now to 
today's session's learning objective are add children will be able to add two or more decimal numbers and they can solve the application problems that require decimal addition. So this we are going to sh uh, share using our uh, 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 differentiation and uh, daily assessments. So I would like to call upon Ms. Hasina. She will share her view of differentiation. Hello, good morning everyone. I am Hasina Muhammad. Glad to be here. And I am a math teacher at the primary section in the Indian High School. These are my kids and I will begin the presentation right now.
زیاده Okay, so I'll give you an activity. It's a paired activity. 
So until I say, touch the tap, you will know. Okay, wait for me.
By the time your task, go with the chart calculator, just finalize whether the answer is right or wrong. So 3.85 dirhams was for Kit Kat and 4.89 dirhams was for Aero. We added it and we got 8.7. Right. Very good. Right then. Now the second group, who is presenting? Tell me.
whether they have attempted all the questions or not because of time limit she has just selected three questions so maybe it depends on her test in the class we can have more questions also and she can monitor if anyone is finding difficulty for doing the question For it's a MCQ, that's why. And for you also, I found one problem wrong, the same. Okay, so tomorrow be ready for a mental test, okay? But I can check you now by having a one-minute paper. But before I share you with the one-minute paper, let us wrap up this beautifully by having a checklist. It will help you in doing the problem correctly, okay? So checklist, today what was the vault? Can you recall the vault? Yes. Divya Krishna, once again the word? Uh, apply addition of decimals in real life. Real life situations. That means what will be the checklist number one? Read the question carefully. Read the question carefully. Fine. Second. I have to understand what we have to find. Exactly. Third. Start solving the problem. Start solving the problem. How? To line up the decimals. Then? Then uh, verify if there are any other examples of 
Okay. Okay. The before all, that will be verification part will be the last, right? After lineup immediately you start will adding. you will start adding measure calculation will be taken. Okay. So one minute assessment, independent task. I am there to help you for today's lesson. Journal or technical to error so but still she manages see huh? good now okay so here we learn what what do you learn today addition of decimals in the context uh, to apply addition of decimals in real life situations. real life situation so here comes a small homework practice it at home fine so this is your homework But at this point, homework you notice know, not, just have a lot on your homework. I need to prepare for tomorrow's class. I need the children, your support. So I will give you a self-assessment sheet right now. So you will be filling. At one bulletin point and the maximum two is fine, okay? You can Send me through ed mode also as time is running short. Ed mode or meet tonight, possible or tomorrow? Tonight possible, the self assessment sheet. <coughs> Hope you receive the sheet. Divya Krishna, I will ed you the self assessment sheet. So tonight you will be posting me what? Assessment sheet. So thank you. Hope you all enjoy this session. <laughs> 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 
class over here in front of please you. Move, please move. Hope, uh, no, no, it was a successful attempt from our side. So any more queries from your side, we are ready to answer it. No, no. Okay. Right down to the side that you are using for the teachers. No, actually it's a classroom management software that we got it with our tablets. Can I have one tablet here? My dear Delna, Delna, can I have a tablet please? Uh, it's a software because it's an, uh, no, it's not a website, it's an Intel Education tablet that we have gone for. So with that we get the software installed in it and there is one software which we get for the school as a classroom management software which is installed on a laptop of the teacher or desktop of the teacher. Yes. So it's not like, it's not like a website outside. No, it's not. Like yes. For your school. For your school. Yes, it comes with the Intel tablet which we are using it and it has got the software in it. The client as well as the server version is with us. Yes, in the tablet itself. So we connect it through the class. Yes, for the students. So every class gets connected through that. Uh, as a like this was grade five girls class. Yes, so we name the class. It's online. Yes, it is using online, but it is dedicatedly working on the system. You cannot have it on the web. But it's complicated. This is have more features. Okay. Thanks. That's what we are saying. Um, sir, we are asking something. Yeah. As they're working. Yes, sir. And I just they work and they erase. Does that work get recorded or saved somehow? Uh, it's, it is saving, sir. What she is sending actually, you can see that she was only sending the work. She can as well collect the work. Mm -hmm. There is one more option over there as collect. Collect the work is not only it is like no. If child is telling okay, ma'am, I have completed, you can collect. No. If teacher wants to collect whether the child has completed or not, so whatever her saved work is there, it will come to teacher's desktop. By the a folder will be created by the name of the student because the tablet is named with the yes. child name. So that will be coming on her and she can evaluate and she can see what all they have done with her files which she had sent it. So it's actually a send and collect uh, option that we are using. And the student does the student keep any of that? Uh, there also we have an option, if I don't want the child to keep the document with her and I am collecting it, I can erase it. You can just open classroom management. So that is also possible and if teacher wants the child to keep the, retain the document with her on the tablet, she can keep it. Yes. So you can pick it out. Yes, I can pick it out whether child wants to give or not. You cannot control whether child is ready to give you the notebook to you or not, but this is in your control. Yes. And they can finish the uh, work at home. Yes, yes, they can finish, but that connectivity will be there only when they come to the class with the teacher or else she so is another they can mode of work communication. Teacher. Yes. So, how yeah. do they present the work to their parents at home? It is saved in the desktop. The folders. Whatever work they have done, it is saved in the desktop. And then the, uh, we have a different portal with which we do the analysis of their work and then we share it with the uh, parent with, in a different portal. All right. We have three categories. We have uh, grade level below and above grade level. Yes. How does the software provide for this need? We are we are grouping them. Grouping is done exclusively on the basis of teachers' feedback. So it's her uh, way of dividing the group into three levels. Yes. It is not same in all the subjects. It is not same with all the students at the same time. So every teacher decides, so this is what she is ha conducting is her own class. When next teacher comes to the class for science, she will be having a different setup of group, she will be having a different options to use in the class. So is it possible for a student who is below grade level to, g to get uh, different work from the rest of the class? Yeah, that's what she did just now. She had given different uh, work to different students by grouping them. All right, thank you, you can so see much. she grouped them as group one, group two. She only knows that why she grouped it. She has the reason for grouping them, but students are not aware of it and we are trying to engage all the students at the same time. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. If you're grouping your students and then you're assessing them, will you assess them all in the same activity? You didn't differentiate your Yeah, that activity. So no, so my question is, if it took that long to do the six kids in grouping and then you need to give them the assessment, I'm like, how long, are, how long does it take? So the teachers to assign all the different assessments to all the different students in the class. Assessment is based on the basic. Yeah, she gave her assessment which was common. You do some activities which are common for all your students, but she did few activities which were not common for all students. She did by sending different activity sheets to them, and she took the feedback from them. Actually, correcting every class is hard because it will take time for each student. The 
think that can help really. You could follow up with the students. And you, if there's some, someone have a problem, you can go back to them. But the others that they are working fine, you can't just correct the class. I tried that, but it really takes time. But the thing that one of the students, you can share his work on the, like, on the board yeah. like this. So everyone can see the work, the right work. You can share the so best work on your screen. For them. Uh, you can even give an alert to your student that you're being monitored. <laughs> Practice in uh, all the periods uh, in the week? It depends on how the teacher decides. It's totally not necessary. They might use the tablet as a motivator. They might use the tablet just for an activity. They might use the tablet only for assessment. It depends on the teacher to decide and plan her class and how she's using it. Uh, we have a planning which is done by the HODs or the, we have an arms team that works on this research system of uh, academic research system that they are doing on this they decide and then it is shared with the teachers and teachers come up with their own lesson plans and they make their own plan they have their own classroom uh, management system where they create their own uh, tests as well as the activities and they share with the students so you support the teacher the I mean the head of HODs will support but every teacher has a yes yeah and how many teaching teachers are uh, that depends on, uh, we have different uh, category of teachers who are HOD state level, who are the regular teacher, maybe they are taking average. Average, just a teacher. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, how many eight, 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 e